Hello friends, I am architect Sonu Rai from Green Landscape and Architectural Design Studio, Glad Studio and today I am here with another video tutorial in Photoshop and today I am going to discuss about three tools which are Quick Selection Tool, Magic Wand Tool and third one is a Frame Tool which is a new addition in later version of Photoshop Frame Tool. So we will discuss all three. So I am going to select this Quick Selection Tool first and this plus sign is a uh, add to the selection of the uh, this uh, quick selection tool and this is a subtraction from this selection and this one is new selection so i'm going to select this new selection uh, selection here and now this is the size of brush hardness and uh, and spacing of the brush so uh, mainly we'll discuss about this sizes of the brush so i am clicking default and i am going to uh, select this uh, image and suppose I am going to select this quick selection tool and uh, I am going to select this background and we will select this tool and now I am going to select this deer here and I am going uh, clicking once so you are seeing the it is uh, side is getting selected we have to uh, press shift here and we can move our mouse and trying to select whole area You can also use a polygon lasso tool but sometimes you can use this and we can select this deer and now it, it, you can see this is extra spaces which we can do it by using this subtraction and we can subtract this it is not uh, that must be difficult uh, we have to keep practicing and we can also reduce from here we have to be very careful i'm doing it uh, faster so uh, suppose we have selected this by using a uh, quick selection tool and we can also use this addition and we have to be very Yes. Suppose I have selected this uh, deer and now I want to move to some another image so I am taking it and moving it suppose here so you can move this deer to here by quick selection tool so this is uh, sometimes handy actually we will use uh, this one magic wand tool so magic wand tool is used in architecture in coloring of uh, our floor plans and uh, i'm going to this uh, image first this is suppose a floor plan and a magic wand tool we will use to render our color floor plan so it is mostly used in coloring of this floor plan also so uh, i'm going to uh, create a new layer suppose I am going to create a wall here a layer for wall and I am going to select this wall uh, and it is getting fully selected because we have created a layer in wall so first we have to select the plan I mean this background and I am going to select this magic wand tool here and now you can see this wall is selected you can uh, fill with any color suppose i'm making it with red and i'm going to use pen bucket tool shortcut command g and you can see this plan is uh, filled with a red color in the wall and uh, similarly you can use this uh, magic wand tool you can use shift uh, you can use this background as a plan you can use shift to make more addition to the wall and you can use pen bucket tool to fill with so this is a method of making a wall uh, and, and using magic wand tool so uh, 
I am also going to tell you another use of this magic wand tool. Suppose uh, we have some JPG image of any landscaping or plants or top view of trees. So I am going to use this uh, magic wand tool and I am going to this background and I am going to select here. So this not these all are not fully selected. Why this happening because this tolerance level is set to 32 so tolerance uh, level is how much we want to uh, cover area if you will increase it will uh, select faster larger area if you uh, reduce this number it will select a lesser number suppose i am going to select make it 16 and i am going to click here once and you can see it is taking lesser area as soon as you if you will increase your area to 60 tolerance level and you can see it is selecting in larger number and it can select full images also whatever if you want to take and uh, this is uh, same like subtract from the selection add to the selection so suppose if i want to add i can click move so it will select all the images beautifully and we can after this we can move it to any floor plans and you can make a copy also i will you can download ng image also but sometimes we require this kind of methods so this was the method about magic wand tool and next is frame tool so for frame tool i am going to I take a new sheet here these are uh, this frame tool is in later version of photoshop so this is also very handy so i am going to uh, select this frame tool and now i am going to create a frame here because i am going to create a frame here and now we can drag and drop any image here suppose uh, i am going to select any building image and uh, I am going to the surrender image and I am going to select this building here and I am going to drag and drop so you can see this uh, image is placed and you can move it anywhere in frame side if you want to look, uh, highlight any part of this you can use ctrl t for the scaling and it will move in frame only is all building suppose i want to highlight this porch entry porch we can highlight this And you can finish this. So, so we can move anywhere. And I double clicking outside. And now we can move our this frame anywhere in our sheet. So uh, again, if you want to resize, you can click Ctrl T and resize. I can make another frame also. Suppose if you are making your client presentation or portfolio you can use this uh, method so you can uh, use another view of this building so you can see uh, you can uh, place full size of building also if you want to highlight any part also you can use frame tool so uh, this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session we'll discuss more in photoshop so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel